Well, the subject of the talk that I'm going to develop is uh, based on how the uh, how cancer fits within the new views of biology that we are uh, uh, adopting. Uh, cancer is, according to what we are proposing, a, a disease of uh, the development of uh, uh, the individual is not uh, what is supposed to have been claimed for a century due to mutations that accumulate in a cell. Uh, I will try to develop the uh, evidence pointing precisely to the fact that cancer is, uh, this, uh, is, this is development gone array, that is to say a process that is part of our development, but instead of going normally, it goes in a different way. And, 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 and the subject of this uh, um, uh, idea is that instead of centering <coughs> the understanding of the process in what is going on inside the cell, we propose and we have shown uh, that uh, uh, the process is being developed at the level of tissues. Obviously, the levels of biological organization are entangled, that is to say that they communicate with each other, but in this particular case, uh, the emphasis that has been put on searching for mutations within the DNA of cells and linking it to cancer has been obviously sterile not only because the uh, explanation for cancer has not arose as a result of a heavy investment, both financially on, uh, and of manpower, but because there is no uh, treatment that is based on the notion that cancer is, a mutation, is due to a mutational event of one or many genes. No uh, mutation has explained any of the evidence that is linked to cancer. Uh, to the contrary, we have proposed that uh, uh, we have adopted premises that are, uh, uh, let's say, contrary to the ones that the somatic mutation theory has proposed. <coughs> premises that we have adopted indicate that uh, proliferation and motility are constitutive of, uh, uh, properties of all cells. That is to say, you don't have to stimulate cells because uh, uh, cells have this uh, agency that allows them to proliferate and move without, being, uh, without having to be stimulated to do so. Evidence for that comes from the fact <coughs> that evolution is based on the notion that out of a single cell, all the multicellular organisms that are present in, uh, uh, on Earth derive from that cell. And at its point in which that cell was formed, supposedly there was no one there to stimulate this, that, such a cell. The cell had the nutrients necessary to proliferate, so they did precisely what was natural for them to do. That is to say, to proliferate and to move. <clears throat> that is one of the basis of what we have proposed as the tissue organization field theory. The other one, as I mentioned before, centers the action of uh, the process called cancer at the level of tissues. There is a lack of uh, uh, communication between the epithelial layer of cells and the layer that lies b below it, which is the stroma, as a result of which a cancer develops because the normal control that the stroma exerts on the epithelial cells is removed as a result of the carcinogenic, uh, 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 act, uh, carcinogenic agents that are being administered to uh, animals in a laboratory or to us in the environment in which we uh, live. So, uh, summarizing the issue that uh, I developed in, in, in my talk, cancer is a, is a, a, a is development gone array. 
and uh, uh, that uh, uh, idea is based on two premises. One, that, can, that motility and proliferation are the default state of all cells, and that cancer is a tissue-based disease, not a cell-based disease.